Welcome to the Epic TV Surf Report. With all the amazing surfing done by the world's best surfers and the world's best waves in Fiji, and after the shot heard round the world alley-oop from John John Florence in Indonesia, you could be forgiven for forgetting that there was even an event held in Carioca Town only a month ago. But as our South American correspondent writes in this piece, for the residents of Rio and the rest of the nation, the painful memory is far from distant. Enoch Ward reports. Protesters swept through the country of Brazil on Monday to protest the ongoing levels of outrageous spending on the ASP World Tour contest in Rio. Amid scenes eerily reminiscent of the mid-1980s, protesters took to the streets in droves with various signs reading, World Championship Tour for Who? and We Don't Need the ASP. Brazil has hosted the Billabong Pro in Rio since 2011 and previously hosted the contest in Santa Catarina. It is estimated that the contest costs around 3 million US dollars to run. Said protester Jihad hater Neko El Cardoso, They spend millions on these surfers and I have to walk through their litter and deal with loud noises every time I come home from my job sewing clothes for $3 a week. El Cardoso held a sign exclaiming, No frivolous spending in 2014. Another protester who chose to remain nameless chimed in while wiping pepper spray from his eyes. They say everyone cares and everyone watches these surfers, but there were more people on a single bus in Porto Alegre than there were on the beach. Indeed, just blocks from the gigantic grandstands on the beach live families four generations deep in squalid shanties made of crushed Fanta cans and used bubblegum. The crime rate around the streets of Rio de Janeiro is notoriously high and the police rarely venture into these urine-drenched favelas due to insufficient funding. Local boutique shop owner Bruna Lima braved the armored cops and tear gas while chanting, how do you justify spending on such fuckery? Further claiming her business sees no benefit from the colossal two-week contest. No one who watches cares about my shop. They are privileged people who watch that silly stuff and they don't care about my handmade clothes. I don't make logos big enough for them. They buy stuff made by my great grandma who works in the sweatshop in Sao Paulo. Bruna fought back tears as she recalled her 98 year old grandmother working 17 hour days making shirts with skulls and dragons on them for fat white men who travel the world. One thing we know, the people of Brazil have spoken and they aren't happy. President Adriano de Hickel issued this statement. This is all about democracy, and we welcome the people's voice. We hope to take them seriously once they return to subservience. More on this as it develops. Enoch doesn't have a Twitter account. He barely has a working computer for that matter, but he'd like to encourage all of you to check out the latest masterpiece from his mentor, Fred Paul, at www.ghostcabins.com. And on that note, thanks to you, surf fans, for tuning in to another edition of the Epic TV Surf Report. Until next time, don't forget to get wet.